I was thinking about when I am just walking around here. It's interesting each week that goes by um, in our community, how our community is kind of adjusting uh, to the different uh, changes in kind of the coronavirus situation. And I'm noticing more and more masks. People are wearing masks and some of them are like fancy masks. They're like, you know, they're, they got designs and stuff on them. And it brings up a good point that uh, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Like this, this is gonna become the new normal. This is gonna become the new normal. And when we first started thinking about it, like wearing masks in the, in the community, that was like, this is kind of like weird. Like, like our culture hasn't, um, that's not a normal thing for our culture to do. But a big concept, big concept here guys, that I think you should know about is something called habituation. So it's the idea is the more and more something happens, you get used to it. So think about you, um, think about watching a movie or think about um, uh, just, just anything that you do, going into a swimming pool, all those things that you do where the first time it's like, ah! Like it's maybe either scary, like a scary movie, or a pool might be cold, but the longer that you stay in that pool, the warmer it gets. You just acclimate to it, right? This is called habituation. The more and more you do something, the easier and easier it gets. The same thing with these masks. The more and more that I see these masks, the more and more it's just becoming normal. Well. It's the same thing with anxiety, right? That's the same concept that I'm doing when I'm helping people kind of face their fears. When we talk about cognitive behavioral therapy and facing the fears that, um... oh, hold on a second. I'm all about these Kit Kats. Um, facing the fears. Uh, when, when I'm helping people face their fears, the first time they are facing a fear, whatever it would be, it's like, ah, I don't think I can do it. And um, I'll get into this a lot more, but there's a certain level of anxiety you experience. And we call this the SUDS, the Subjective Units Distress Scale, right? Um, but the, the more that you're in a situation, the anxiety builds, right? Your SUDS builds meaning you have higher and higher levels of anxiety. And at some point, if you stay in that situation, your suds will decrease. Your anxiety level will decrease. But you have to stay in that situation long enough for it to decrease. And so sometimes what I see is pe people struggling with the idea of staying in that situation until it decreases. And so they get into a situation and the anxiety starts increasing and then they get out of the situation. They avoid it. They, that's the behavioral part of, of all this, right? And so what I'm helping people do is work on their thoughts, how they're thinking in a situation and helping them relate to those feelings. And then behaviorally, we're staying in that situation and helping them ride that situation out where they're able that suds is able to go up and it's able to peak and then it comes down so this mask uh, situation i think uh, uh is is kind of an interesting one i'm interested to see over time if we habituate to this uh, mask um, where more and more people just wear a mask and maybe it becomes part of fashion but also maybe it becomes part of us just uh you know make sure that we maintain um you know our public health safety and those things so <clears throat> habituate habituation i always say that habituation is like sounds like a dirty word but it's not <laughs>